Welcome to Smart Voice from Shaw Business. We're going to cover setting up hunt groups for your Smart Voice service. Hunt groups allow you to process incoming calls so that they can be distributed to multiple users efficiently. Still unsure? Don't worry, we got you. Just keep watching. There are five available group policy options for any hunt group. Think of these as the rules that incoming calls follow to get to the user. Circular policy is when incoming calls to the group start hunting for the user following the last user to receive a call. When the end of the list is reached, the hunting circles back to the first user on the list. Hunting ends when an idle user is found, or all the users have been visited. This is a good way to make sure there's an even distribution of calls, and to give end users enough time to complete calls. It's less likely for one user to get overloaded, but it's not as equal a distribution as the uniform policy. Regular policy is when incoming calls to the group start hunting for the first user on the list and hunt all the provisioned users sequentially until an idle user is found or the end of the list is reached. This is helpful for multi-line phones at small businesses, since the first user in the list will typically get the most calls. Simultaneous policy is when incoming calls ring all idle users in the group. The call is connected to the first user to answer the call. This is a good way to not overload one user. Uniform policy is when the incoming calls to the group are presented to the user who has been idle for the longest time. This is useful to evenly distribute calls to the users and avoid idle time. This is often used in call centers. Weighted call distribution is when the incoming calls alert users in a pseudo-random fashion according to their relative weight. Users with a higher weight are assigned more incoming calls than users with lower weights. The weight distribution can be managed on the available edit screen. This may be helpful in cases where users have differing capacity, such as the experienced person versus the newbie. Log in to the Smart Voice dashboard at smartvoice.shawbusiness.ca to set up a hunt group. Quickly add or remove users to and from an existing hunt group by scrolling down to the bottom of the homepage towards Hunt Group Settings. Select the hunt group by name and click the Settings button. The hunt group name is predetermined, but you can change it. We'll get to that a little later. Here you have the option to update group policy, add or remove users, and adjust no answer settings. You can either select the number of rings you want before it skips to the next agent, or call forward to a specific number after a set amount of seconds. Quick tip. On average, there's about a five second pause between each ring. So if you set this as 30 seconds, you can expect approximately five to six rings before it forwards the call to the number below. Need to update more details? Sure. Click on Detailed Settings on the bottom right, and you will be directed to the Hunt Group Profile page. Here you can change the Hunt Group name, update not reachable settings, call policies, and other calling features. This is also where you can find call history for a particular Hunt Group. At the top of the page, you will see Profile, Calling Features, and My Calls tabs. The Profile tab gives you access to calling line ID settings and additional settings when all users aren't available such as enabling call forwarding or the group busy feature. Click on calling features and you will be able to set up additional call forward policies. Want to set up a specific call forwarding rule for after hours? Select on and click edit to create a new rule. And lastly, the my calls tab will give you the ability to pull reports on any inbound, missed and outbound calls in the last 90 days. Pretty cool. For more information on the Smart Voice dashboard functionality, see the link below.